Hello everyone, welcome, and I wanted to make a quick video about an incident I had with my RTX 3060 while changing out the thermal pads. Now, as you know, I've made quite a lot of videos about GPU memory temperatures, and also I did a lot of videos on changing out the thermal pads on the RTX 3090 and the RTX 3080, and I was going to do the same for my RTX 3060, Except as I was opening up the card, I made a big mistake. So I had to go and get the card fixed and now the card is back and I think it's a good time to talk about it. So this applies to all graphics cards out there, not just the RTX 3060. So I hope everybody can watch the video. Hopefully you don't make the same mistake I did. I think a lot of the times it's the issues that you're not aware of that can cause the most problems. All right, so let's get straight into it. So this is my Palette RTX 3060 Dual model. The Dual stands for the Dual Fans here. And I got part way through opening up my graphics card. I've got the backplate off and the fan shroud off, but that was about as far as I got. Now, uh, I didn't actually unscrew the four screws on the back holding the heatsink and the PCB. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is, put the fan shroud back on because I know the car works perfectly fine like that. Now initially I wanted to change out the thermal pads on the memory because I thought the GPU core was getting a bit hot and it's all tied to the same heatsink so if the GPU core was getting hot then the memory would also get hot too and usually the memory runs at about 20 degrees hotter than the GPU core so if the GPU core is 60 then the memory would be 80, 70 and then 90 and so on and so forth. So for the GPU core, I was getting about 60 degrees during the nighttime and about 64 degrees during the daytime. And that was with the air conditioning on. So if I turned it off to go to work, then it would be even hotter than that. But actually 60 degrees is perfectly fine. I just incorrectly read a table wrong. So it's actually 70 degrees where it starts to get a little bit hot. So I think 60 to 64 degrees is perfectly fine, even with the air conditioning off. And I think I'm just gonna put the fan shroud back. The card is perfectly fine. I've given the card a little bit of a clean. So I got rid of a lot of the dust on this card. So I think that's gonna help it out in terms of temperatures. Now the problem I had was with this fan header right here. You see the fan header is really close together so uh, it's really hard to get your fingers in there to get the fan header out and I literally tried with everything. I tried using my fingers, I used, tried using a pen to kind of lever it out there and then in the end I settled with some pliers and that was my big mistake to use the pliers to get it out because I tried to use the pliers to wiggle it out of there but I actually slipped with the pliers and I actually cut the two cables on this fan header. <laughs> And the cables are so small that it's almost impossible to put it back by yourself uh, without any external help. And it was cut clean, so there really was nothing else that I could do on my own to fix it. So I had to get this fan shroud sent away and get that fan header replaced. Now I thought about actually buying some spare fans or spare fan cables, but the thing is that this RTX 3060 has a really bad design where the fan is actually molded into the uh, it's actually molded into this fan shroud and there's no way you can actually take this fan off so I tried to take this sticker off and there are no screws underneath you can't like pull this fan out or you can't push this fan through and you can't take that fan off so basically the fan is literally stuck in there and I actually uh, googled this company called First D, and I found some uh, fans that they were selling, but uh, it was useless because I wouldn't be able to take this fan off the fan shroud. So the only other thing I could do really was to actually buy an re entire replacement uh, 3060 fan shroud uh, for pallets, and they're not really available, so uh, that was not going to work. So the only other thing I could really do was to send it away to somebody who could repair this fan cable here which is what I did I sent it away and it took about three weeks to get it fixed and so um, 
uh, obviously three weeks, I was actually mining on this card most of the time. So that's three weeks of lost revenue. It's about $3 a day. So I guess that's about um, $60. So uh, just a little mistake there can cost you a little bit of money. Um, so the other thing obviously was that I wouldn't fix this and I would just plug in uh, some other fans. So for example, I could just put on a couple of CPU fans. Uh, somebody actually suggested that in my live stream when I talked about it. Um, perhaps stick some Noctua fans in there. That would have been really cool. But uh, personally, I'd rather just keep this uh, in its original condition as I can, uh, if I can. So uh, I'm going to put this fan back on now and uh, I'm going to just leave it as it is. Okay, so if you're in the same situation, uh, what I would do is I would just leave this fan header alone here and I wouldn't try to take it out if it's too hard to take out. And I would just do the thermal swap or the thermal pad swap as it is with the fan cable attached as it is. So uh, I did this with my Palette RTX 3080 where it was really difficult to take out the fan header. So I just left them there as it was. I did the thermal pad swap. It's perfectly fine to do that. And I think, uh, yeah, don't try to like get it out of there if you can't get it out of there. Okay, that's going to be it for this one. I'm going to put that fan back onto the graphics card as it is. And if this video goes up onto YouTube, then you'll know that my RTX 3060 is perfectly fine and working. But uh, that's going to be it for now. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one.